This is Long Cross Cemetery in Dartmouth in South Devon in the UK. Here's one that's a little different. It's a metal cross, although the inscription has long been eroded. And if I close up on the piece down here, you'll see there's an anvil. So I'm assuming that this monument was made by the forge that the chap or the person worked or owned. This is a modern memorial, uh, 1993, but I was interested in the symbolism here. We have a snake wrapped around a goblet. They have a Garden of Remembrance here with the uh, CWGC memorial stones. And one here that's a little bit more modern, a Jonathan Barlow of the Britannia Royal Naval College here in Dartmouth. He died in 1973. And alongside is one for Oliver Christopher Martin Gudgeon, who died on exactly the same day, aged 18. Partway down the memorial garden are four stones for the Dutch people who gave their lives. This is one of them. Got three more down there. Slightly different shaped stone with a curved top on it. In the row behind, we've got uh, another foreign memorial stone. This is for Norway, Johan Johannesson, 1942. And here we've got Christian Wormark, again in 1942 with rather a nice bronze anchor mounted on the stone. Indeed, here's the third one from Norway. Died in 1941, Ina Eriksson. And again, we've got this rather magnificent bronzed anchor on the, on the stone itself. And of the British stones, the row here in front, or most of them, we've got the four Dutch in the middle. Uh, they're almost all seafaring people and it gives their various ships that they were on, serving on. Just past the memorial garden, I've turned right and we've entered the older part of this graveyard, which they've allowed to grow a little more wild. One here, amongst the wilder section, with the scene of the Crucifixion on the cross. Uh, the inscription is too difficult to read, but we don't see so many crucifixion scenes on the graveyard memorials. It's rather nice the way they've let this area grow wild. It's not so wild that you can't get to the stones, it's just long grass. There's not too much thorns and nettles, and uh, it's just got a very peaceful rural feel about it. Tucked away under the hedge here at the back is a memorial, war memorial to Harry Ridges, Devonshire Regiment 1915. But down the bottom here, there's another inscription, difficult to read, but also in memory of Harry's brother who was killed in action. So that family lost two sons in that First World War. One here against the back wall and leaning at a perilous angle is Charles Bulkham, who died on board the Hulk Jane. Presumably Hulk Jane is some type of craft on the water. And he was travelling on the voyage from Portsmouth to Dartmouth. Hulk Jane. This memorial is to a fireman Farman George Perring, who was killed whilst in the execution of his duty, 1904. And at the top here, you've got his helmet, two fire axes, and his belt. Another stone leaning at a, quite an angle. This is Eli Morgan, I can't get that last name, Master Mariner of Dartmouth. Another one from the sea here, on this leaning stone, James 
Elliot Robinson, who died on board HMS Belly Belliet, it could be, I can't get the last couple of letters on that. Another here with seafaring connections. John Lee, late of Portsmouth Dockyard. Here's one with the image of Christ in front of the cross, this time not depicted crucified. He seems to be standing on some clouds with his toes peeping out from underneath his gown. And here's a cross with the Dove of Peace mounted on one of the arms. And you see a good depiction of the, of the bird with the leaf in its mouth. This is based on the story of Noah, who after the floods uh, sent a bird out and when it came back with a leaf in its mouth, he knew there was another life, another land. This one here has got an angel engraved into it. A more mature angel than we normally see. They're normally depicted as young ladies. This one's of more mature years. I suppose angels age, or well, perhaps they don't. Anyway, it's in loving memory of Anisto Beely, aged 32 years. Another one here with the depiction. On the right hand side we've got a young lady with her beads and her hands in prayer. And on the left we've got a more senior male figure. And again it looks as though it's an Italian grave, Tadalidi, so presumably this is Catholic imagery. There are one or two other war graves scattered throughout the cemetery. There's two there. And if I look down through there, there are three more just mixed in with the normal memorials. Interesting depiction here on the stone. We've got an angel on the right, we can see the wings. And the one on the left is just a young lady. I don't see any wings with that one. Hair flowing out to one side hands in the form of praying. And the memorial is to Mary Ann Lane, who was aged 70 when she died. One here to Austin Ernest Williams, and also Captain Henry Williams. Sort of inverted brackets around the word captain. So not clear whether he was a army captain or a captain of a ship or it's just the name they called him. A tall obelisk here at the end of the path, and this is to Sergeant Thomas Aaron of the Devon Constabulary. On top of this plinth, we have the image of an angel with her hands in prayer, looking upwards, presumably praying for the soul of the person who is buried beneath here. Again, the inscription on the, on the memorial is too difficult to make out. A couple of very simple stones here with just the initials and the year and one the same alongside. I have seen this before in Quaker cemeteries. They don't believe in making any issue of the person. They don't put the name on the stones so I'm wondering if these are actually graves of Quakers. This is a modern memorial, only a year or two old, but I was looking at the way the stone has been done. It's an interesting brown coloured stone and it's made to look like a book. There's a spine down the left hand side. And while we're talking about memorials in the shape of a book, there's a, again a recent one here, which is designed as the book laid open. Pages down the left hand side. And some smaller versions of the same. One there, and one alongside, open book. And one or two others as I look back through the graveyard, it seems to be a sort of phase in the, in the sort of 80s, 90s, 2000 period. Nice way of putting the dates on this one. Sunrise, 26th of March 1911. Sunset, 8th of December 1985. One here to a child who died just over a year old. And a shooting star on the top. Twinkle Twinkle Tilly Star. Shine brightly, beautiful girl. And we've got a recent war grave here, still covered with 
flowers from various people. The inscription is to Brett V.J. Hall, Tank Regiment, who died in 2009, aged 21. Well, that's my visit to the cemetery here in Dartmouth in South Devon. Lovely little peaceful spot. A little bit of traffic noise in the distance. And a little bit of noise of children in the school nearby. But very, very pleasant. And you're well out of the crowded town. A delightful town, Dartmouth. But very, very crowded in most seasons. So come on right up the top of the hill here and spend some time in this cemetery. Till the next time.